probably just going to cut it up and take it in. Do you know what I'm saying? Where they wouldn't have to show nothing. It's not a whole thing. So they would they would cut the VIN off of it and they just yeah, chunk just it up. Yeah, cut it into like so many foot sections. We all know I can't find the trailer. The trailer. A 20 foot huge trailer that Marilyn did something with. Now, we've called some local tow companies. We know Marilyn asked the police to actually tow it. They refused because it would have been illegal. I got one more chance to figure this out before we go to court. So let's get into it. You guys all said, man, Jeremy, check the salvage yards. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm not sure that a salvage yard that's reputable and even an unreputable salvage yard would have taken a trailer without a certificate of origin and the box truck without a title. And it's near impossible to get an abandoned title on anything in Ohio. That's why you don't see vehicles going for sale at storage unit auctions because the facilities know it can take a year, if not more, and a ton of money. And we all know Marilyn doesn't have any money. That's why she's selling the building. She's near bankrupt. And frankly, after all of this, I'm pretty sure she will be anyway after we go to court. So let's call Tom Salvage Yard here in Worcester. Let's see what they have to say. Hopefully good news. Tom Savage. Hi, my name is Jeremy. How are you today? Hi, Jeremy. This is Amy. I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing good, Amy. I've got a little bit of a predicament. I'm looking for a 20-foot black cargo trailer. Do you know if you guys have had anything come in like that or if there's anything on your lot? No, there's not. Let me, let me ask. Okay. Let me positive because I wasn't here for two days. Okay. 20-foot cargo uh, container. Yeah, no. a covered no. trailer. Covered container. Covered trailer. A 20-foot covered trailer no. black. Covered trailer. No, we do not have one. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, may I ask a couple more questions? Yeah. Uh, would you guys be able... So basically what's happened... I have a landlord that illegally had my trailer towed off of my rental warehouse space is okay. would you do you know if you guys would have even been legally able to tow the trailer a 20 footer I mean, it had no plates on it and it's and it's under 4000 pounds so it doesn't have a title it's just a certificate of origin would a salvage yard even been able to to take that trailer in um not let me you know what i'm gonna let you talk to my boss okay okay I don't know the answer to that. okay hello hi my name's jeremy Hey, just just a question. I I've got a little bit of a landlord and a tenant dispute, and my landlord Marilyn Raby, she actually had my trailer illegally uh, towed, and and now it's stolen property from uh, my rental warehouse space. And I've checked some of the towing companies, but I, I haven't been able to get a good response. They all said they wouldn't have towed it. So I'm now I'm checking salvage yards. Would you guys, would a salvage yard even be able to take in a covered trailer since it was under 4,000 pounds, no title, no plates? Can a salvage yard take in something like that that doesn't even have a title? Um, you know, I don't know how there's so much on trailers. Um, trailers are certificate of origin under 4,000 pounds. I'm say, more than likely probably called like somebody that like in the paper or something yeah and they're probably just going to cut it up and take it in do you know what i'm saying where they wouldn't have to show nothing it's not a whole thing so they would they would cut the vin off of it and they just yeah, chunk just it up it into like so many foot sections would be my guess because i know there's a lot a lot of scrappers in this world do you know what i'm saying oh oh so you come and take stuff and <sighs> You think she probably just called a scrapper, scrapper cut it, and then would take it to a salvage yard. That would be my guess. And, I mean, and she is going, she's being sued for this. She is, I, I am seeking restitution for the trailer. If I can uh -huh. find the trailer, I would love to find the trailer. Do you know, have you guys had anything like that come in? No, we haven't brought no trailers in, huh? 
Uh -uh. Not even pieces, parts, uh, nothing. No, we don't buy like pieces of yeah, parts. Yeah, yeah. No. That would be more like Waco out on 83. You might okay. want to try him, Waco Recycling. Okay, I'll try. I'll try out there. I'm going to give him a holler. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of junkyards, but a lot of them don't take like the trailers and stuff. You know what I'm saying? We take more just like the automobile. Yeah. So would it be worth my time to call junkyards or no? I'll call Waco for um, sure. Yeah, I would call him because he's a recycling place. Yeah. But, I mean, there's so many. I mean, uh, I mean, you could go as far as Barberton, Canton, Akron. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All those places. That's a wide, that's a wide stretch people. search. I mean, there's a lot. If you look in the paper, you know, junk, unwanted, call, blah, blah, blah. I mean, people will just come and snag it up. You know, and I'm sure she probably didn't get paid for it. She just said, I want it out of here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to say who could have gotten it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you loud and clear. That's not, I mean, I was hoping it was going to be easier, just somebody towed it or a salvage yard had it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're you're right. Anybody could have came and just taken it, and yeah, it's gone. Yeah, I mean, there's so many of them. I mean, it's unbelievable how many of them there is nowadays. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys see a lot of scrap coming in like that, where they'll just cut a vehicle or a trailer all up. We don't, but well, other we places. Vehicles here, um, yeah, because we don't have like a scale to weigh stuff. So I mean, you know, if they're taking it in for the weight, it would have to go somewhere where it probably had a scale. Yeah. You know where they would buy it that way. Okay. All right, I'll start. But, I mean, there's like PSC downtown. You know, there's PSC in Canton. There's Shakers in Barberton. I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, they're going to take it to wherever well, we're paying them the best. Right. PSC, PSC is like 500 feet away from where the trailer was. Do you think PSC would actually take that in? They could. All right. Because, I mean, I'll, they're a metal yeah. buyer, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah. More than just vehicles. Yeah, PSC is 500 feet away from where I had it parked. I didn't even think about yeah. calling them. I mean, if it's a decent trailer, somebody might have took it to you. It yeah. might be pulling around the road somewhere, you know. I mean, oh, if it was yeah. decent, somebody might have might be using it. And I've been looking all over the road, you know, locally as I'm driving. I mean, a lot of those trailers, you just go get a weight slip on them, and you can get tagged. And you can get a temp tag just with a weight slip. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, if was it a decent trip? I mean, was yeah. It nice I mean, I mean. Box? It's it it in in its current condition, it would have brought in over twenty five hundred dollars to resell it. Easy. Yeah. So somebody could be using it. I mean it could be on the road somewhere. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't help things at all, does it? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, and she won't tell you like what no, she did with it or who got the it. Police, the, the police the the police said where is it? And she, the police, Worcester police said she refuses to tell them where it's at. But Worcester police refused to actually arrest her for theft. So she admits she admits she knows where it's at by refusing to tell them where it's at. So she knows where it's at. She knows what she did with it. So she's admitting by refusing. But Worcester police are refusing to arrest. They're saying, well, just add it to your civil case. And, and okay, so I'm seeking restitution. But you know how this goes. I seek restitution, yeah. I can get paid for it, but she has no consequences of the theft. It's a felony, she should be in jail. And and they're not doing that. They're going, just seek the money. And I don't want to seek the money. I, I, I actually think she should be held accountable for what she did and she should be arrested. I think we're going to see a lot of this with the cop situation. I really do. Yeah, people yeah. are not going to pay the consequences of nothing anymore yeah it's, it's i mean it's, yeah, it's happened, sad yeah yeah it's sad well i appreciate all yeah, your help luck, but yeah i mean if it was decent somebody could be using it okay i'll keep my eyes out on the road i'm gonna call psc and i'm gonna call waco as well thank you for the all other right. leads yep. okay bye-bye okay tom salvage they don't have it they wouldn't have taken it but she's opening our eyes up to what really could have happened. Literally anybody, anybody could have picked it up, could have cut it up, could have taken it anywhere. And the other reality is it could be on the road absolutely anywhere right now as well. PC Metals is 500 feet away from the warehouse. And, and frankly, that's where I take my scrap metal. And for scrap metal, I, I could get 20 bucks a trip. I could get 100 bucks a trip. I never even anticipated or thought, oh, well, what about the trailer being over there? Because the trailer's so big, I mean, why would you want somebody to cut it up? 
So the thought never even entered my mind, a high dollar trailer being cut up for scrap. But let's call, let's see what PSC says. And we're going to for calling PSC Metal. We're going to call Waco if too. If you know the five digit extension of the person you're trying to reach, we don't. you can dial it at any time. We don't. Please listen to the following option. Okay. For information on our hours and directions to our locations, please press 1. Uh -huh. For questions related to the Ohio or Pennsylvania areas, please press 2. For questions okay. related to the Missouri, We're Illinois, Ohio. or Arkansas areas, right. please Let's press just, 3. Let's just, we'll go to for Ohio. Press 1 to get information on material and pricing. No. Press 2 to reach dispatch. Yes. Press 3 to reach human resources. Probably dispatch. Press 4 to reach accounts payable. Press 5 to speak to an operator. Let's go 5. Let's go 5. We'll try and speak to the operator. We'll see how it goes. Man, if they have it and it's still intact and it's only 500 feet away from the warehouse and we find it, huge score, huge win. And then Maryland is still accountable and liable for the theft. And probably her son... Metals, how can I help you? Hi, my name is Jeremy. Can you connect me with the Worcester PSC Metals? Worcester in yes. Ohio? Yes, Worcester, Ohio. Yes. Okay. And what is it regarding, sir? Uh, I'm, I'm, question? I'm looking to see if anybody brought in a 20-foot cargo trailer there for scrap metal. Okay. All right. Let me transfer you there. Thank oh, you. Place. Thank you. You're welcome. See all the stress in my eyes. It's getting a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Here we go. PSC Metals, well, sir, can I help you? Yeah, hi, my name is Jeremy. How are you today? Good. Hey, question for you guys. Uh, I, I had warehouse space right around the corner from you over there on Spruce, and I have a 20-foot black cargo trailer that has come up missing. Uh, my landlord, uh, Marilyn Raby, actually, I mean, she, she did something with it. And I'm trying to call around. I've called tow companies and I'm starting with salvage and scrap metal to try and see if I can find the trailer. Would you or anybody else know, has anybody brought in you know, a 20 foot black cargo trailer, whether whole in part or pieces or anything along those lines within the last month or so? In whole, I have not seen one. Okay. I don't, you know, when they come in pieces, we don't, you can't tell what they are. Yeah, so I yeah. I can't tell you that way, but I have not bought any trailers. So you know for sure no trailer whatsoever. Okay. I haven't seen any. Do you know, like, would Waco, do you think Waco would, would go that route or... Mm -hmm. Do you have any other suggestions as far as who you think, you know, potentially would take in or tow the trailer? You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to find it. Yeah. Not offhand. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. If you got any ideas to help, you know, lead anything, that would be, you know, I'd appreciate it. If you can think of anything. I was going to call Waco. Waco was going to be my next call. Yeah. You, yeah, it's just, you just got to call around. I don't, like I said, Evan. Not that I know of. Yeah. Would it would it even be just out of curiosity? Would it be with a trailer? So, for example, that twenty foot trailer, it's under four thousand pounds, so it doesn't come with a title. Would you guys are able to take that in, or another salvage yard can take that in because it's not titled, right? It doesn't even matter. Somebody can just go, all right, well, here it is, scrap it, right? Usually on trailers, I try to get a title. But if a trailer doesn't have a title, like like that trailer doesn't have a title because it's under 4,000 pounds, and so it just gets a certificate of origin in the state of Ohio, do you still have to make a phone? I'd, have, I'd, I'd probably request that, yep. Okay, so you, you guys would ask for the paperwork. So most, most places would, right? Yep. You know what? Uh, most places would require the certificate of origin, the paperwork, right? I, it depends on the company. I don't know. I, here we would, yes. Well, you guys are reputable. I mean, but I mean, 
I would hope that most of the others are reputable enough. Okay, so you guys would get the paperwork. I'll call I'll call Waco. Again, anything else you can think of? No. Nope. All right. I appreciate all your help, all sir. Right, thank you. Thank you so much. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Waco is actually on the other part of town. So it sounds like it sounds like these salvage yards don't need paperwork, but if they're reputable, and, and I, I understand I'm on the phone with them and I'm telling them, and some of you are going to go, Jeremy, you're saying too much. Listen, I'm an honest person. I'm always going to, I'm always going to show all my cards and be completely honest. So it sounds like they don't requ don't need the paperwork, but if they're reputable enough, they want to cover their own tails. They don't want to be in a situation where police are involved, courts involved, and all of that. It sounds like they're going to require paperwork, even though it's not legally needed for them. So let's give Waco a call. Hopefully something comes up. Things are getting crazier. Things are getting crazier. I just got a tip from a subscriber. They think they found it at a towing company, a despised towing company in their area. And sent me the number. Here we go. We're going to see what's going on. Uh, we got a call. Oh, come on. The, the number isn't working. Why isn't their number working? Let me see if I can copy it. Okay. One second. I got to get this in. Three, 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 five. And it's not working from the link. Okay, here we go. This is from this is from Nick. Let's see what we can figure out. Hi, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing really well. I'm curious, have you guys towed any black cargo trailers within the past month? No. Or Okay. Ask him, boss man. Have we towed any black cargo trailers the past like months? Past past months. Boss man said no. Nope, we have not. No, nothing at all. No, sir. Okay. All right. I appreciate all your help. It's no trouble. Good luck. All right. Bye bye. All right, saying no, but Nick has sent us a message, and Nick's message says this. Uh, there's a black covered trailer in the lot right there. Right there. I mean, he is saying there is a black covered trailer in the lot. So, I think I might be going for a road trip. We still have to call Waco, though. George is on her way right now, and my truck, Ramsey's, Ramsey's is actually in the shop. Ramsey needs oil changed. Ramsey needs fuel filters changed. Ramsey needs the airbag serviced. Ramsey needs brake, electronic brake system serviced. Ramsey needs uh, taillight replaced. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. We use vehicles nonstop. Probably 50% of our life is out on the road. So Ramsey's getting a one over right now. George is heading over. She's had doctor's appointment after doctor's appointment after doctor's appointment, caring for her dad as well with her his doctor appointments and follow-up appointments. So I'm, I'm definitely, I'll go out on the road, but um, I'm going to have to wait for George to get here. And let's get Waco on the phone now. Maybe we get some kind of info. Again, another reputable company. I mean, thank you for calling Waco Recycling. How may I help you? Hi, my name is Jeremy. How are you today? Good. Hey, I've got a little bit of an awkward situation. I had a 20 foot black cargo trailer, and all of a sudden it's missing. So I'm actually calling around to see if I can find it anywhere. Do you have any knowledge whatsoever? Have you guys, has anybody tried to bring in a 20-foot black cargo trailer? Or if I give you a VIN number, can you look that up? Anything along those lines? Um, 
I haven't seen anything today. Um, well, this, this would have been. Morning's on lunch right now. Well, I'm sorry. This would have been. This would have been within with probably a month ago. I was in Florida, and I'm having a a land landlord dispute, and Marilyn Raby actually, um, she she frankly she stole it. It's it's considered theft now, and. Um, and and I am seeking restitution in court, but I'm trying to find it at the same time. So if you're on lunch, I, is there anybody else I could talk to? Um, no, the other people are on lunch right now. Let me um, get all of your contact information. Okay. And if the trailer had a title, we should not have okay. taken it without the title. So here's the difficult part in Ohio. Any trailer under under four thousand pounds, and this would have been gross weight, would have been thirty five hundred pounds. Doesn't have a title; it only has a certificate of origin. So, okay. so my I I have the certificate of origin, but they didn't have the certificate of origin. Would you guys have required a certificate of origin to actually take in the trailer for scrap? Because there is no title, and legally they didn't have to have a title because there is no legal title for the trailer. Yeah, we might not have. Right. Go ahead and give me all your contact information, um, okay. and we will look through our records here, and if we come up with anything, we can definitely call you back. Okay. Uh, my name is Jeremy Hales, H-A-L-E-S, and my phone number is 330-11, the color 9, 35 twos in a row. 35 of them all in a row. You have to type that that many times. And... The Batman oh, yes. And George says the Batman signal as well. That goes at the end. Okay. And he says a black cargo trailer. Yeah, I actually... I'll give you the VIN. Can you write down the VIN as well? Yep, absolutely. Okay. It's 5M, M as in Maryland, and B as in Maryland is a beach. And then B again, E as in energy, 20273, E as in energy, 000421. Okay, and you said you were um, already reporting it as theft? Yes, it's been reported as theft with Worcester Police. Uh, Worcester Police okay. know that Marilyn Raby did something with it. Marilyn Raby refuses to share with them what she did with it. And it's I'm seeking restitution in court. Uh, we do have a civil tra case and trial, but I'm trying to locate it. So I still want it. Um, and if you guys got it, I would come pick it up immediately. Do you... Do, do, and if you don't have it, do you have any other suggestions where you think she might have gotten away with towing it, taking it, doing anything with it? I will ask the managers here. I personally don't have any ideas right off. Do you know how to spell Marilyn's last name? R-A-B-Y. Okay. And then since it has a current open police case, we might have to let them know it's here oh, yeah. first before you remove it from our facility. Uh, yeah, and that would be fine. Um, that would be fine. But if you guys could actually call me, can you, do you think your manager would call me either way and say, Jeremy, yes, or Jeremy, no? Yes, we okay. can definitely do that. Oh, perfect, perfect. That would be extremely helpful. Okay. I think I have all the information for now. Your phone okay. number was 330 -11 the color nine, 35 twos in a row, 35 of them all in a row. You have to type that that many times. And the Batman oh, yes. And George says the Batman signal as well. That goes at the end. Yes, yes, that's correct. Okay. Well, as soon as everyone gets done with their lunches and gets back, we'll do some digging and see what information we can come up with for you or anything and okay. give you a call back. Either All right. Way. Thank you so much. You've been extremely helpful. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. You have a good Bye. day. Bye-bye.
Well, that's the good thing about these companies. They are willing to help. So we've got one company saying, well, try this, try this, try this. Another company is saying, well, it's not here. We know we wouldn't have taken it. Even though we didn't need the paperwork, we would have required it. we got another company is going, we'll check. We'll get back with you. We'll tell you anything we can figure out. Police will probably be involved. You know, this is, this is the beautiful part. These are actually helpful people. One way or another, we're going to find it. We're going to find it. Somebody is going to find it. To date, Brandon has not found his box truck. To date, we have not found the trailer. But somewhere, these things exist still. We are going to find them. Waco's calling. Hello, this is Jeremy. Hello, it's Carrie from Waco Recycling calling you back. Hey, Carrie. Well, we've done a little checking here and we do not have record of having seen anything like okay. that. But we'll keep it on the board here. Okay. Keep an eye out for you. Any any other ideas, places I should call and check? Anything you can think of? No, not really. Okay, I'll keep the I'll keep the search going. I'll see what we can do. Okay, good luck. Thank you much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a great day. You too. Bye bye. Bye. We gonna find it, aren't we? We're we're on the road. We're gonna try and find something. Something, or something's gonna find us. Either which way, something's gonna get found.